it's the morning I wake up The taste of summer sweetness on my mind Yeah Well, it's cold in Canada um, And it sucks outside but it's nice and warm in here. I got my hat and my toque on, or my toque on and my sweater on because uh, I like to convert, you know, conserve my propane and conserve my power. So I don't keep it too hot in here. <coughs> I'll save some of my, you know, some nights I'll, I'll take it off and crank the heat. But most of the time I like to conserve my heat. On that note, I wanted to talk about candles. Uh... You see that? Candles. Yay, candles. Alright, you got it. You know what a candle is. <clears throat> a lot of people focus a lot on energy conservation um, and all the new technology in RVs, and so do I. Uh, it's all great to have. I have a lot of gear in here that I'll talk about. But in cold climates, candles are your best friend, um, especially at night. The furnace, I have a furnace in this, and a lot of RVs have a propane furnace. The, the one in this runs underneath the floor, so it also keeps your holding tanks warm, and it keeps the floor warm, uh, and the heat rises up. But when it's really cold, when it's negative 23 degrees outside, it runs a lot and you only have so much battery power. So even with LED lights and everything, you gotta try to minimize how much your furnace runs at night. So what I do is I put candles safely in safe containers and safe places throughout the RV at night, for light, not only for the light, free light, but candles also give off a, a significant amount of heat. Um, they're kind of really one of the most efficient things for cold weather camping. They give light and heat. These particular candles that I buy, they last for 28 hours. So I'll get two nights out of them for about a dollar. And uh, so you get your light that you need for night and you got heat too. And that... What that does is that slows down how often your furnace has to turn on so that your battery that has to run the fan for the furnace will last through the night and minimize your propane consumption. Um, when I wake up in the mornings, my generator starts right up and there's no problems. Uh, if my battery was dead, I'd have to boost the generator. I have a booster for it, but it's a pain in the bum. So that's my lesson for today. Candles. Very important. Don't don't forget about them. You're never too cool or too too technological for candles. They uh, they really help. And you can buy special candle holders that actually make the uh, that make the heat radiate better. Uh, I've made my own. I'm not gonna. Okay, I'll show you one in the cab. I run this one out here just to keep it a little warmer. See? It's just made with uh, plant holders. What's that material? I don't know if that's ceramic or or what it is, but it, you know, it's the plant holders you buy at your local hardware store. And there's a candle running in there, and it keeps things from catching fire. And it helps make that, that that material gets hot and that heat just radiates. It's like a little heater made from a candle. So I set those throughout the RV at night. I always keep the cab curtained off to help keep it warm. And sorry about the mess. Look, I just brought all my instruments in last night, and I had we had to lose one of the seats to to make a stack for my instruments. I even got one hidden behind me here. <laughs> uh, but you know, tis the life. So, uh, excuse my bad morning singing and stuff. Uh, 
literally just woke up. Coffee's actually boiled. Do you want to come make coffee with me? I have a propane stove. Uh, I use the propane kettle a lot. But, again, in the winter, you really got to space out your propane usage. So, while the generators run in charge and the batteries in the morning, I use my electric kettle. Let's try to clean up some of the mess around here, huh? Nothing fancy, man. You got those at home, right? You got those electric candles at home. I'm a half-calf kind of person. I don't like getting too charged up. But I do need a little caffeine in the morning. And I'm not going to be able to do this with one hand, so, you know, it's, it's instant coffee. I make it the exact same at home. I just use this kettle to boil it. All right in the summertime, I'll use this one. Propane's cheaper and easier to get. But uh, gasoline's easier to get right now, so, and gasoline is actually cheaper to use. So I'm using generator power, which you can probably hear mumbling in the background. Still a mess of stuff to pack away here. This is only my second night in and slowly getting everything out of the apartment. Hopefully these videos get better, huh? But uh, they're fun anyway. And I don't know what makes me want to do them first thing in the morning before I've showered, brushed my teeth, or had a coffee. But I do. So I'm sorry about that. But thanks for watching. Uh, oh! couple YouTube people that I follow that I found very interesting if you're into the whole living on the road kind of lifestyle or you know I really like driving I love seeing new places I, I love highways so there's two one I mentioned in my last video trucker Josh tr really recommend his videos his YouTube channel is amazing has tons of videos and driving through all kinds of interesting places and stopping at lots of Flying J's and Pilots, which are my favorite truck stops to sleep at and to refuel, Pilot Flying J. Uh, and I also picked up one, and it turns out that he's friends with them, called The Jade and John Show. Highly recommend it. Hopefully someday I may get shout outs, so I'm paying it forward. That's, that's the way to do it. Uh, if I don't get shout outs, I'll still pay it forward because it's just cool to do and those are some cool people and some cool videos. Oh, there's my alarm. Time to get started with my day. Bye.